Today, we've got some big news about Uniswap and its brand new layer two blockchain, Unichain. It's been making waves in the DeFi space with reports saying that Uniswap Labs and Uni token holders could make up to $468 million a year from this new platform. But not everyone is thrilled. There's a mixed sentiment in the community. So let's dive into what Unichain is all about, how it could impact Uniswap and Ethereum and what the community is saying. All right, so here's the scoop. Unichain is the new layer two blockchain launched by Uniswap on October 10th. The idea behind it is simple, faster, cheaper transactions and better interoperability across different blockchains. Sounds good, right? Well, according to Michael, the co-founder uh, or the founder of DeFi Report, Unichain could be a major money maker for Uniswap Labs and Uni token holders. We're talking about $468 million a year in potential earnings, which is a huge deal. So how's this money coming in? Well, most of it comes from fees, which would normally have gone to Ethereum validators. Instead of paying those fees to Ethereum, Uniswap Labs and Uni token holders get to pocket a lot of it, $368 million to be exact. Now let's talk about who's not, oh, so let's talk about who's winning and who's losing in the situation. While Uniswap and Uni holders stand to gain big time, it's not great news for Ethereum validators. Validators. According to Michael, Ethereum validators are the ones taking the biggest hit here. With fewer fees going to Ethereum, they're losing out on a lot of revenue. And that's not all. There's also be less ETH being burned, which could affect the deflationary mechanisms of Ethereum. On top of that, Uniswap Labs will capture all the maximum extractable value, the MEV, on Unichain, which has been estimated to be around $100 million over the last year. Normally, Ethereum validators would grab this, but now it'll stay within the Uniswap ecosystem, potentially benefiting liquidity providers and Uni holders through through staking. Now, let's check in with the crypto community because reactions to Unichain have been mixed to say the least. Over on X and Reddit, we're seeing some people pumped about the potential for faster transactions and more concentrated liquidity. Advocates are saying that this could lead to a cleaner user experience for DeFi users, which is always a win. But not everyone's convinced. Some skeptics have pointed out an old post from Ethereum co-founder Vitalik Buterin. Back in September of 2022, Buterin was pretty vocal about why he thought a layer to blockchain from Uniswap didn't make much sense. He argued that Uniswap's value comes from its simplicity. You just get to, to get your trades done in 30 seconds, no hassle. He wasn't a fan of the idea of separate uni chain, uh, Uniswap chain or rollup, and it looks like some of the community are skeptic, are still skeptical as, as well today, right? So. What does all this mean if you're a uni token holder? Well, according to uh, the report, uni holders could be some of the biggest winners here. The potential to earn $468 million from fees and MEV capture means more value flowing back into the Uniswap ecosystem. And the po with the possibility of staking rewards and more incentives for liquidity providers, this could be, uh, could be the, the making on well, this could make uh, holding uni an even more attractive investment. Of course, this all depends on how well Unichain is adopted. If liquidity providers and traders move over to Unichain in large numbers, then it could lie, uh, live up to all of the hype. But if adoption is slow or users prefer sticking with Ethereum, don't know why, or other layer two solutions like Optimism or Polygon, then we might not see the same level of rewards. Either way, I think this is going to be pretty big. So what's next for Uniswap and Unichain? Well, the focus will likely be on building momentum and getting more users and liquidity onto Unichain. The potential for faster, cheaper transactions is definitely a selling point, but the key will be whether it can attract enough activity to really compete with Ethereum and other layer two solutions. We'll also have to keep an eye on how the Ethereum community reacts to this, especially with the reduced fees and less ease 
teeth being burned. It will create thick friction and uh, it will be a bit of a sticking point. Or will Ethereum just adapt as DeFi continues to evolve? And that's a wrap on today's update about Uniswap's Unichain and its potential to generate $468 million for Uni holders. It's a huge opportunity for Uniswap, but it's also stirring some mixed reactions in the community. What do you think? Will Unichain be the next big thing in DeFi or are the skeptics onto something? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below or join us in our free Discord server. We'd like to hear what you all think. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss another update. And if you haven't done so already, check this video out right here. It's not one you're going to want to miss.